May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you. This is just a short reminder about the virtues of uh, the month of Al Muharram. Particularly now we are in the month of Al Muharram 1443 after the Hijrah of Allah's Prophet. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him from Mecca to Medina. As we all know that the month of Muharram is among the four sacred months of uh, Hijrah calendar. And this has been explained clearly in Surah to Tawbah verse 36 where Allah says, Inna iddata shuhuri inda Allah hithna ashara shaharan fi kitab Allah yawma khalaqa samawati wal aruba minha arba'atim hurum. Furthermore, in a hadith, our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, says, Afdalu siyam ba'ada ramadan shaharullahi al-muharram. Meaning, the best fasting the most prestigious fasting after that of Ramadan is fasting in the month of uh, Al-Muharram and now we are in the month of uh, Al-Muharram. This hadith has been reported by Muslim, hadith number 1163. Furthermore, we are urged in this month to fast a lot. Try to do the best you can to fast for many consecutive days or Mondays and Thursdays or the daily routine fasting of Dawood peace and blessings be upon him. In addition, the most important fasting that you should strive to make sure that you observe in the month of Al-Muharram is fasting on the 10th of Al-Muharram. That is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rescued Musa, peace and blessings be upon him and uh, destroyed Fir'aun. And that is on the 10th of Al-Muharram. In a hadith which has been reported by Ibn Majah, may Allah have mercy on him, hadith number 1738, our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Ahatasibu annahu yukafir sana al-madhiya, that I feel and I hope that fasting on the 10th of Zulhijjah, the 10th of Muharram, will expiate the sins of the previous year, that is a year before the current year. And uh, in fasting on the 10th, we are urged also to fast on the 9th. And that of 9th is the day that uh, we are urged to fast along with the 10th of uh, Al-Muharram because of a hadith which has also been reported by Muslim. May Allah have mercy on him. Hadith number 1134, in which our beloved Rasulullah says, La im baqitu ila qabili la asumanna tasi'a. If I witnessed next year i will fast on the 9th of uh, zulhijjah so in nigeria here for example this year we are to fast tomorrow wednesday and uh, thursday if you fail to get tomorrow then you can alternatively fast on the thursday and uh, friday may allah ta'ala guide us aright may he accept our fasting and our good deeds may he respond positively to our prayers may he bring back peace to our country and let us not forget our parents, our teachers, our beloved ones, and our country in our prayers. Thank you very much. May Allah's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you.